Hi, I'm Mike Rowan. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Veridity Software. We're here at uh, Data Center World showing our product off, and I was going to sort of walk you through a quick demo of what the product does. So tell us a little bit about uh, about Veridity for our readers who may not know and uh, about what you guys do. Sure, sure. So uh, founded, Veridity was founded uh, in 2008, uh, working on power in the data center. And what we do is we map utilization in IT equipment to power. So what we actually are doing is giving you power consumption uh, at a server, virtual server level, so you can understand exactly, effectively, what applications are burning what power, and you can start making decisions about power infrastructure based on how it's connected back to the business, what servers are running, how hot they're running, how much you're paying to run certain applications or certain divisions, and you can dice and slice it up that way. Um, we're a software-only solution, so what we do is uh, we install a software package on a server in your data center. We use standard management protocols to discover all the equipment in the, in the, in the data center, including how it's configured. So we find out not just that you have a DL360, but that you have a DL360 that has these two Xeon quad-core chips in it running at this speed and this much memory. And then we have a database that sort of gives us uh, a utilization to power metric for all those components. So we can monitor utilization of that server moving forward and translate that utilization using our database into a power consumption number. And we end up, uh, when we have a full model, we end up with about 2% accuracy, which is, you know, far better than your, than your PDUs, you know, and not quite as good as some of the branch circuit monitors where you get to the sort of um, utility grade, you know, measurements. But, uh, and that's what I can show you. Sure. Customers, customers um, usually they're sort of, what they're doing with us is they're trying to either extend the life of their data center, uh, they're trying to reduce the utility cost of their data center, or some combination of both. And what we do is by giving them this insight, where they can actually sort of draw lines and say, here's exactly the equipment that's being utilized, here's how much it's costing me, here's what I'm paying to run the different parts of my business from a power perspective. Here's how I can do capacity planning moving forward to see where our data center is going to growth, growth factor is going to affect us, when we're going to run out of power, right. how to jam more junk in the trunk. Effectively. Okay. So. Well, let's have a look. Sure. So, um, like I said, it's, it runs on a server in the data center, so it doesn't require agents. We don't install anything um, on all the servers in your data center. We just install it uh, on a server, and it uses these standard management protocols like SNMP, WMI, uh, VMsware protocol. Um, to sort of discover and understand what's in the data center and monitor it. What we're looking at here is a dashboard, and, and, and the way the product works is you just point your web browser at the server that's running, and we use Flash to sort of demo to, to show you the dashboard and the, and the user interface for it. Um, and in the dashboard, you've got basically you know a picture of what your data center looks like, um, you know the current power draw, which gives you both uh, you know how much power you have coming into the facility altogether, um, how much you've allocated the servers if everything was running at 100%. Um, and then how much power you're actually drawing right now. Okay. One of the things that makes capacity planning so difficult in IT right now is that all of our laptop technology around battery management has sort of eked into the server side. So a server these days can actually double or triple its power consumption just based on utilization. Um, and so that's where you get this effect where, you know, while if everything was running at max, we'd be running at 116 kilowatts here, but right now we're only running at about 51 kilowatts okay. uh, for this for this week. Um, it gives you a really quick picture of where your assets are, what your current utilization rates are across your data center on average, you know, and what kind of savings you're looking at um, potentially with things on the floor, and I'll explain that when we get into it a little further. Um, I'll jump right to analyze. Once you do this discovery and it finds all the equipment on the floor using these standard protocols, uh, you can basically drill down and see the actual equipment that you've discovered. Um, and it gives you a lot of information about each piece of equipment. You know, it gives you uh, what the server is, uh, how much it's idle and max power is. So here's a server that, you know, when it's running idle, it's running at about 100, 130 watts of power. And at max power, it's running at about 173 watts. So it's not quite the, it's, a, it's an older server. It doesn't have quite the spread that some of the, some of the newer servers have. But you can also um, uh, see what it's running, who owns it, you know, uh, what group, applications, what applications are running on it, who the contact is for it. And we can do all of our reports, you can use this stuff to filter. So you can actually say things like, tell me about power consumption on the exchange servers, tell me about power consumption in this division, tell me about power consumption with this certain sort of group. So, um, that's the, that's the uh, basic inventory. When we get to the core, which is here, um, which is basically 
uh, how do we do power at an individual server level? So what we're looking at here is the utilization curve for a given server. And this is the standard stuff we've been looking at in the network world for 20 years, right? How utilized, and this system is basically uh, pretty heavily utilized. It's going between 80 and 100% with an occasional drop. But what I can do is I can basically come back and uh, add power consumption to this. And what you'll see is the power consumption is the green. And you can see that it's very relative to what the utilization rates are. Right. You know, and when you highlight one, go over a specific point, I get here, uh, it'll actually show you uh, not only what the utilization is, but how much of that utilization that system's costing you, you know, on a yearly basis. So you can very quickly delve into a very specific system, understand what you're spending on it, understand that it's different utilization rates, what it will cost you, what it's costing you to run that server, you know, in your environment. So that's effectively the core data that we use to extrapolate and to do all of our analytics that are based off of that. It's really mapping utilization of power. And what's interesting about that from our perspective is utilization is an IT metric, you know, and power is sort of the facilities metric. Right. And it's basically bridging those two things together and giving you a connection point between the facilities and operations side of the house and the IT side of the house, letting you connect everything at the bottom from power and cooling up to the things at the top that matter, which is the application. And the, and the business that we're running. Um, there's a couple of things I'll show really quick. They're, they're basically, you can quickly go and look at who are my top power consumers in the, in the, in the data center so I can very quickly see who uh, is using the most amount of power on the floor. Um, I can quickly go and look at my underutilized servers and see who is the lowest utilized servers on the floor. So, like, all of these systems are below 2% utilization rates. Um, I can also quickly... Um, Not only can I say these are all under under two percent utilized, um, but I can also see how much power they're actually drawing. So like here's okay. a system where he's he's less than one percent utilized, but yet I'm paying almost five hundred bucks a year to run that system without cooling. With cooling, right. it's closer to a thousand eleven hundred dollars. So that can help you identify folks that servers that may not be uh, particularly efficient to begin with and. Very quickly. What's interesting is almost every data center we roll into, you find between 10 and 25 percent of the servers on the floor are not running any applications at all. They've been abandoned effectively. They're still running, so you're paying for them to, to power and cool them. They're creating heat in the data center. They're taking up space and taking up critical power that's coming off the UPS, but yet they're not doing any useful business work for the business. And so one of the lowest pieces of low-hanging fruit we have, or the fastest sort of um, you know initiatives that we can do, is go in and identify a whole section of servers that aren't doing any work and that you're probably spending you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars a year to keep them turned on. More importantly, if you're about to have to drag another UPS into your facility, if you're about to build out a new data center, here's a way where you can say, hey, if I can turn off, if I can find 10, 15 percent of these servers that aren't doing anything and turn them off, that could push that kind of infrastructure build out out 12 months, two years, three years. And that's a very big capital outlay for most customers. Um, this lets you also monitor, um, we can monitor, we can actually collect data from PDUs uh, or branch circuit monitors, so if you have PDUs that are monitorable, we can actually pull that data in and you can use it sort of as an anchor point, so you're getting data both from the facility side, the facility infrastructure equipment, as well as uh, our modeling stuff coming from the IT side of the house. Um, the last thing I'll show really quickly is uh, basically uh, in the capacity planning side, which is rack power, is understanding where we can put new equipment. Um, so here what we can do is we can actually pop up a rack in the data center um, and understand here a couple of different things from it. Um, basically you have a, a, a rack here that's pretty full. Here's the equipment. You can highlight what you're looking at in each system. The blue line is how much power we've dropped into the back of this rack. Right? Okay. So this is, and then the green line is how much power at 100% we're running here. And here you can see we have a, this is if everything's maxed out. What's happening here is I think this is a simulation. You've got to go, this is actually the sort of actual side of it. So it gives you a very quick, so this is a full rack, but if I find a rack that's sort of empty, here's an empty rack that has nothing in it, so there's lots of capacity. Let's find something similar to 
what we have is placement assistance where you can say, uh, I'm going to buy you know, a new server so I can find the server I want to buy here and say, and what I want to do is I want to say, well, if I buy this, where can I install it in my data center? And what we do is we look at the data center, we look at where you have space and power available in these racks, and we can tell you which racks you can actually fit in each one of them in. So then you can highlight the rack you know, and see where exactly you can sort of place it. So this one obviously can go here because the rack is completely empty, so there's lots of room. Some of these, like here, uh, has equipment in it, but it still has available space and available power. So it's a very fast way to place new equipment and to understand where you have capacity available in the data center. So that's pretty much um, you know, the highlight of, of, of the application. Um, the way we usually engage with customers, uh, because it's so easy to deploy, is we do a WebEx, we do a demo, we walk them through you know, a, a more holistic sort of picture of the, of the product and how it gets installed. And then we almost always let the customer do a proof of concept because the fastest way to get to know the product is really just to install it in your data center, point it at you know a couple of racks in the corner, and run a test case yourself and see how it works in your in your environment. See the data that's pulling out of your environment, you know, and see what kind of impact it can have. And you know, that's good at uh, and easy and pure software. Um, and for folks who are interested in more information, what's the, the web address? Sure, it's www.viridity.com. Okay, listen, thanks so much for taking a few minutes to walk us through your product. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it.